Welcome to the Smart Parents presentation. This is a presentation about a, a minor mode for Emacs called Smart Parents, which, as the name suggests, deals with uh, parents and tries to be smart about it. So, uh, pretty much all of you have probably used uh, some packages like AutoPair or uh, TextMate or uh, Rep Region, which are very useful and they provide a functionality of automatically uh, inserting pairs or for parents and braces and string, uh, string, uh, sorry, square braces. These. Uh, so when you type the opening one, the closing one is inserted automatically. It also works for for quotes and probably some more. Uh, the, now the point of this package is uh, to give you some more freedom in defining what is actually a pair. And so, for example, you can define a pair that that is uh, more complex than just one character. You can define a pair like this one, uh, which is fairly useful if you uh, if you do something in uh, LaTeX. This is used f for uh, literal braces because these are uh, contour characters, right? So uh, you can you can have uh, also a pair like this, uh, which is uh, used in Emacs uh, regular expressions for captured parents and m many more. Uh, another example might be a C command, uh, but the, the point is that you as a user have complete freedom to add uh, new pairs and uh, or remove these and uh, do whatever you want with it, which, which is the reason why I basically started to uh, writing this, because uh, I was really annoyed, annoyed with uh, with, with the lack of customi customizability of these three. Uh, so just to show you uh, uh, a basic picture about how this works, we actually have uh, something like a permission system where you can uh, define pairs only in specific modes or, or uh, disable them in specific modes, which is really useful. For example, you can have a, a pair uh, of uh, two uh, dollar signs, which is used in LaTeX, but uh, since the dollar sign is used in PHP as a variable, uh, you don't want to pair it there. So, uh, adding pair is uh, adding pairs is done with a simple function. All the functions in this package have a prefix sp as smart parents, uh, because uh, as you know, Emacs likes the lux x. Uh, namespaces, right? So we can uh, add the do dollar uh, pair like this, and then there's a bunch of functions that can assign permissions where it can run and where it can run. You can find that uh, in the, the README at the GitHub page. Uh, now the the more interesting feature I'm going to show real quick is uh, when you are in Emacs, for example, uh, Elisp mode rather. Uh, it uses this kind of uh, quotes, backtick and a regular quote for, for uh, uh, hyperlinks in documentation. But when you when you write a code, uh, some uh, macro writer, uh, these are used for for uh, what is this called? S pseudo quote, I guess. So so you don't want to insert the pair, you just want the opening, uh, opening backtick, and so you can also disable the, the auto insertion of pairs only in code and enable it only in strings and vice versa. And there's a lot of uh, permissions you can set, and it's all described on the readme page. I don't want to go into details here because it's uh, sort of kind of complicated actually. Uh, okay. So now we have a, a pair like this, but in, in uh, some other mode maybe you would want a, a pair like this. For example in Markdown, this is used to uh, to select a code, in, uh, like inline code. So you can actually even overload the definitions. This one is a global, so it works in a, in a all the modes. It, it's also used in LaTeX and in other things. This one you can locally redefine just uh, 
just in markdown mode so we can uh, add local pair oh now it, it, it it's sometimes annoying because it automatically adds the pair if you even if you don't want it and uh, you specify the mode where it should run and again this is described uh, in the readme so if we jump real quick into a uh, LaTeX buffer, here you can see that oh, <laughs> indeed these inserts automatically and this is a regular string in, in LaTeX. If we go to markdown mode you see that instead the uh, double backtick is inserted. You can also uh, nest them but I don't know if that's actually useful for anything okay now the second neat feature and the second neat feature is that it is actually smart about the closing closing one so if you just, uh, type opening parents then type some text and then type the closing pa uh, pair it just jumps over it, uh, it it won't insert another one because that would create a uh, this sort of uh, unbalanced expression. We want to avoid it. So uh, you can see that it highlights the region between the, the parents. Uh, you can actually disable this in, uh, in customization if you don't want the highlighting. Uh, now if you type it, it jumps out. It, it works for the multi-character uh, pairs as well. And th this, this, uh, this behavior is uh, cancelled if you move back because uh, it assumes that you do some editing inside and then you just jump with some other uh, other keystroke so now it would insert another one but but if you just continuously type it always jumps out so it's pretty neat and it again works with all the pairs even the complex ones uh, but it, it's sometimes just simpler to use uh, some other hotkey to jump out and I will get to navigation later. There's a bunch of features uh, you can use to navigate uh, these uh, these uh, expressions. Uh, okay, so that's about uh, the pair insertion. Oh, and one other thing: you, if you actually insert a, a pair like this, uh, and uh, then you want to delete it, it uh, it kills the whole the whole thing, not just the one character. Which is which is kind of uh, again useful because it, it for example if you only if you only delete uh, the one then the escape characters uh, are left there and it, it may just uh, do some nastiness uh, instead even the word uh, also if you are inside it then it kills the the both of them it, and again it works for everything uh, okay. So that's the that's the insertion part. Now I just jump into the second file real quick to my to my notes. Uh, so the other other feature is the the wrapping, and th there are two modes for this: the, the regular one, which is basically you type some text, you highlight it uh, as a region, and you type the opening opening pair, and it it will uh, it will wrap it in, in, inside. Now again this works with all of these. If you just insert the pair and then immediately after you uh, want to delete backward it, it kills the, the whole pair again. And it's smart about uh, jumping to the end where you would uh, normally end. So if I go from uh, left to right uh, the point stays at the right. If I go from right to left, the point stays uh, at the left side. And it also works with the, the, the multi-character versions, of course. Now, if you if I type a backslash, it kind of uh, enters the special mode where you can either finish the the code or cancel it. And the cancellation is done with a Ctrl G, as usual in Emacs. Or you can finish the the pair, and then it will it will wrap. Uh, inside and again the point jumps to the side where you normally end. So that's pretty neat. I can I can move the direction. 
this is the this is the basic mode. Uh, it works with all the pairs you you define with the uh, sp uh, add pair function. Those are uh, kind of like uh, quick and dirty, very simple pairs without uh, some structure. But then you can also do much more elaborate uh, pairs. And I will I will just copy the definition here real quick. So uh, I call these tag pairs, which is basically they are tags more specialized or uh, than just the uh, characters. So this is a tag pair which is triggered by the opening, uh, well, less than equal, le less less than less than equal, less than right. And this is the opening pair. This is the closing pair. Uh, this is the function. I will talk about it in a minute and these are the modes uh, where it should be allowed so actually